Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this issue you might be getting, uh, error code 43, USB device not recognized. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so if you're getting this uh, error every time you're plugging a USB into your computer, um, try plugging it into a different port on your machine. Um, if you still get the same issue, we need to do something on your Windows 10 machine. So if you just click on the start menu, type in device manager, then the device manager application will show here. Just click on it. Okay, then down the bottom, uh, there's this universal serial bus USB. There's gonna be some sort of driver issue. So what we need to do is if you expand that, then there's going to be this here, USB root hub. There might be more than one. If there is, you need to repeat the process I'm going to show you on every single one. Uh, basically, right click on there and then left click uh, update device software. Then do search automatically. This is basically going to contact the internet and see if there is an updated driver it can install. Okay, so it says here the best driver is already installed. Uh, so it's not installed an updated driver. If it has installed an updated driver, just restart your machine, uh, plug the USB in again, and hopefully that'll fix the problem. If it hasn't, what we need to do is close this window, uh, right click on USB root hub again, click on update uh, driver software again, but rather than do the automatic, we need to do browse my computer for driver software. If you then click on here, let me pick from a list of device drivers. And what it's gonna do here is, it's gonna let us reinstall the driver for this device. So just highlight USB root hub and then click next. We can see here, it's just reinstalled the driver. So I close that, reboot, hopefully that will fix the problem. If it doesn't, there's one more thing we can try. What you need to do is right click on there and click on uninstall and then OK. So as you can see now, it's removed the USB device. Um, if you then restart your machine, it's then going to detect that that device is there without a driver. It's automatically going to install a driver um, after that plug the USB in and it will, it will work. Okay, if you've got any questions, please post them in a comment below and I'll help you out. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.